people, welcome to episode three of Blake Builds Bike Cave. I'm still figuring out a name. I've been getting so many in the comments down below, on my social media, everywhere. Right, let's kick it off. I'm so excited. So excited. Where am I talking? Right, okay, before I get super carried away, I've been getting so many comments. Yes, thank you so much. It seems like you guys are enjoying me build this epic bike cave of mine. Also, I love hearing all about those suggestions in the comments down below. Getting involved, I've seen so many. I went over to Gembian Tech and went through the whole filing system of where you guys have been uploading your your bike cave. And if you want to get involved, there's a link in down in the description down below. If you want to get involved in the GMBN Tech Show, I've been just going to upload it to there. Find it, upload it, send it over. Doddy loves to see this sort of stuff. And so do I now, because I can I can look, look at it! Alright, look cuz that is so strong I can like Put my motorbike up here and it's not gonna it's not gonna fall through. Flapping, I can build a house now. Probably not. Right, measurements. From there. As I continued to oh boast boy. about my building skills, this is what happened in episode two. I shoved up the cupboards, hung the doors, got all clever with my drawers, <laughs> and I got overexcited about my worktop, yes. which confused me a little. 45 degrees to 160. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So what's coming up on episode three? Well, let's find out. Done. Done. So I'm gonna build a frame. I'm not gonna build it up there. I think I'm gonna build it on my worktop because I've got, I've got a new worktop. So I'm gonna build the whole frame on my worktop, measure it out, see how wide I'm gonna make it. Don't want it too wide because I'm a bit short. Can't get my arm right at the back. If I do make it deep, I might have to make a step or two. <laughs> right. I can't forget my music. I can't forget it. Fergus! Come here, Fergus. Let's get cutting. some off cuts and I'm, I don't throw away stuff I use it till I just till it's like this small so these are some off cuts maybe some mistakes from previous episode one or two anyway moving on this all this scrap it's not scrap because I'm gonna use it because I don't want this to have I don't want this to be too wide I don't want to be the same width as this because I won't be able to get to the back plus I'm gonna hit my head on it if it's overhanging which it is gonna be so I'm gonna cut all this to size, make a little frame, glue it, screw it together, and then I'm gonna fix it to the wall so I can hide this gas meter thing, because it looks ugly, and it doesn't look very nice. It's, with a nice head unit, it's gonna look even better. So, yeah, and hopefully not make many mistakes, because I haven't got much wood left. And I still need to build that. Bike storage. Oh yeah, let's just run time-lapse, man. Just run that time-lapse. Charlie, <laughs> little monkey, what are you doing? What's up? Whoa! What are you doing? You fixing? What are you doing? Hey, come in. So you want me to cut along there? Cut there, down there, and that way. <laughs> Oh, cool. Go here, you little monkey. Man, 
cup of tea. I need a cup of tea and some biscuits. They're flipping biscuits, you know. Oat cookies are the best. Look. Mmm. Mmm. Substance. One bite cookies. All right. A little break. Cup of tea. And you probably, I had a few, few um, questions about my motorbike. Well, this is, this is my rat bike. Look at it. This is my rat. I did some video long, long time ago before GMBN, actually just before GMBN, where my brother and I bought these motorbikes and went from the UK all the way through the Pyrenees, all the way down to Barcelona to an event down there at La Palma Bike Park. It was super good. We made these bike racks. They bolt to the back. Take a look at this. Yeah, we rode like that for a whole week there and back through snow and it was terrible. I even crashed my motorbike. Didn't even get it on camera. Anyway, Jimmy's iced coffee that is. Jimmy's iced coffee. Good motorbike that. That is a Honda CB450 Super Dream. And uh, it is a dream to ride. It is so, so light. I would start it up, but it needs a bit of TLC. <laughs> it's not working. That's all right, it's metal. So good. Lucky, lucky me. Damage, oh, some damage. But, hashtag buy merch, steel cups. Can't go wrong with them in the workshop. Right, the frame, the unit is built up. Look at that, dude. That is going up there. That's actually quite a big unit. I was expecting it to be a little bit smaller, but you know, it doesn't matter. More storage, the better. Right, let's put these wooden bits up. Put them in there and there and there. Actually, come to think of it, I don't know why I cut three. I only needed one. Look, so I cut three, one for there, obviously one for there and one for there, but I only need one for there. Because that's gonna be the side of the wardrobe and that is gonna be the wall. Oh, balls. I've got an audience, look. Like a glove. Charlie's drawing. I should actually date that. My pencil gone, dude. Charlie was here. I didn't even spell his name right. <laughs> what an idiot. Was here. Uh, Doing great. Okay, I've actually run out of humongous screws to go into the wall. I, I, but. I've got my trusty old workbench, look. And it's got loads of massive screws in it. Just gotta find them. Yes. Okay, I'm struggling to put this unit up there, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get up there, just like Blake's doing right now. Well done, Blake. And I'm gonna start screwing in big blocks into the wall so I can mount the unit, just like that. Go on, Blake. Well, uh, yeah, keep drilling, keep drilling. Yes, I hate it. I hate screwing the wall, Blake. I hate it too. It's just so loud. That should do the job, oh. I reckon. That should do the job. Now we can Listen. get the unit up there. News in, the wife is making some cake for, for tea in the afternoon.
I'm gonna use all these scraps. I haven't got much wood, so I'm gonna cut all this and I'm gonna put up the cool. Man, I have to think out of the box. Well, I actually, it's, mm, it's not out of the box, but I'm using all these little bits of ply because I haven't got much like I keep saying, but look, this is what I've done. So I've, instead of putting in a big fat piece of two by two, I kind of cut some ply to two inches. I separated the two doors like that. I think that looks flipping cool. Got a shelf in there. Over here, I probably just leave this like it is for now. I'm gonna put some doors on that and leave it because I don't really wanna be building a shelf around that thing and then putting stuff around it and it knocks it and it just does damage to it. So I'm just gonna leave that as one big cupboard with two doors. Two doors there, two doors there. Done, cut that. I'm gonna put some trim up there and then move on to my tool board because I really wanna get on to putting some some OSB all the way up there, into the top there, all the way around here, down here, and up here, and some shelves. That is the next jobs after this. This is the most time consuming one. I think it looks pretty good. With doors on that, it's gonna look so nice. All right, let's uh, measure up the doors, cut them, and put those hinges on. Because I hate those hinges. They're a nightmare. Episode two, I threw my toys out of the cock because of these hinges. Oh, the weather has dramatically changed from hot sunny weather to like hoodie and a hot cup of tea weather. It's raining. Look at that. Oh. Oh well. Okay, last door to be hung. I hate hanging these doors. Yeah! You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Done, I am so happy. I'm not gonna be hanging any more doors. I just, uh, it's just a pain in the backside. But look at it, all the doors on. So I made these doors like this so I can get in a bit better because I don't want to, yeah, anyway, that's one, that's two, and three, and that's four. Done, like it a lot, like it. Look at it. Now, I want to hang my tools all under here. So I'm gonna get some of this OSB chipboard, which I've got just there, I'm gonna measure it up, I'm gonna cut it out, I'm gonna put it under there, I'm gonna screw it to some batten, just like this, put some of these on the wall, screw it on, done, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna go all the way there, I'm gonna go all the way down there, and I'm gonna go all the way out there. Let's get this rolling, let's run that time lapse, let's do some chat, let's do some cutting, because we need to. Moment of truth. Big, big cut. Oh, you're a bit dusty. You're a bit dusty. Man, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look, look at that. Look how good that is. It just finishes it off so good. But I can smell that Victoria sponge that my wife's made and I can hear the kettle boiling, dude. Do you like your cake? Is that nice cake? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I flipping love cake. And little man loves cake. Loves cake. Don't think anyone doesn't not like cake. Right, after talking through the wife and seeing because you know she's an interior direct in interior designer she's not but we mean we were we were brainstorming and i did say we were going to go all the way up here and all the way all the way 
it all, it's, I think it's a bit too much. So I think I'm gonna, we're gonna stop right here. So it's just this little bit here, so that is tools there. <laughs> Look at that, that there, uh, that, that was just so good. So I've just come up with these little guys. This is gonna be the bracket for my shelves. Cause I want this to be a, a feature in itself. I think I'm gonna make loads of these and I'm gonna have probably one, two, three shelves or maybe just two shelves. And uh, do you know what? The dream was to put a TV there. Yeah, a TV on the wall playing GMBN constantly. Especially when I'm in here doing some maintenance and I don't understand what I'm doing. I can just go, hey Siri, break in, put GMBN tack on how to index gears because I don't still don't know how to do it. That's one more. Come then. You know what, that's the most carpentry thing I've ever done. Oh man, that is, like I routed the edges, I, I just countersunk the back so you don't see it. I even put some dowels in there so you can't see the join. I used dowels to just join the two together. Now do you know where I got those from? Those are from my little man's toy set. They're little miniature logs from his train set. I thought, <gasps> I know exactly what I'm going to use those for. I'm going to use them for that. I am stoked with that. Oh man, this one's been good. Episode three's been amazing. Like I flipping built this thing. I built the best shelves that I've ever done in my entire life. I thoroughly enjoyed building that little that little shelving unit. Now this is the end of episode three. Episode four is gonna be unreal. Just, you gotta tune in because I've got lights, I've got some park tool stuff, I've got some tools, I've got some sanding to do, I've got some painting to do, I've got doorknobs, I eat, there's so much coming up in episode four. So thank you very much for watching this rad video. If you got any comments about Doing stuff like this, DIY, actually all them carpenters out there, give us some, some feedback and say, hey dude, those, yeah, that's, that butt joint, you've done so many. <laughs> Just uh, maybe try this joint. Anyway, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up like, follow us on all our social media. And if you love this, man, just let me know. I love it. Episode four, coming very soon. Next week, actually.